Stand up and then put your hands up. One, two. Right? One, two, one, two. <laughs> Better than your dad. Yeah. Remind me, I've got a pretty funny story to do with Barroso. Oh, right. With that Barroso thing. I remember bringing <laughs> this the other day, right? Was it a funny story? Well, I hope, it, I hope you find it funny. Right. <laughs> it a, but he's, he's um, the same night, Jean Claude Van Damme was doing a bit of um, an event in Manchester, you know, a bit of sort of meet greet and a bit of a QA yeah. and all that. So obviously, Van Damme is he's like the man, isn't he? And um, yeah. I remember like, one of my best mates loves him. So anyway, Van Damme was stopping in the Radisson, you know, in town. That's where I always stop. And um, Van Damme was stopping in the, in the um, you know, so we're stopping on the same floor. So right. I remember there's a guy who looks at him and he goes, yeah, you might see um, Jim Claude. Um, I put the hell, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I'm not one of them, you know, with pitch and stuff, but with him, I yeah. think I would have done like with Van Damme. Yeah. And um, anyway, I'd not really seen him and then, I was in, um, I know some lad who does security for like a few people like that. And um, anyway, one day, I think it was fight day, it was fight day. I got in the lift anyway, this guy's there, you know, and then there's this, this this pretty small guy there. Um, and had a bit of a bald head sort of thing, but he had a hat on and um, he sort of goes like, in the lift and he sort of goes, are you all right, Anthony? And, um, and he goes, um, it goes to a lot tonight, and the guy sort of, you know, this other guy sort of go, let like, someone says, ah, you're all right, mate, you're okay. And he just sort of, so sort of come down. And then the guy goes, the guy in the hotel comes up to me and goes, oh, great, so you met, you met uh, Panda? I went, nah, I've not seen him yet, I said. He goes, you've just been in the fucking lift with him? <laughs> and I went, no, what, you know what? I was expecting the, uh, I was expecting the mullet, you know, the cause I'd be. Yeah. <laughs> and he'd gone, do you know what I mean? Oh, I was ill, I was gutted. But he, he was just there, I mean, like, I think he had like a little flat cap on, yeah, remember, you know, the short, like, yeah. pretty small, I didn't expect him to be. Right. Do you know what like, he seemed, I don't know what he is in night, but he was shot. Sure, yeah, I mean, he was in a lift, I'm, sh I'm sure he was like, <laughs> my excuse, I'm hoping it was because he had me head on the fight. I remember ringing yeah. my mate going, I've just been in a lift with Van Damme. <laughs> And I didn't even know it was him, and he's going, you idiot. Yeah. And he said, and he said, oh, what do you expect him to have a bottle of cores and all that? And I went, remember years before being in New York like that? Yeah. And um, Michael Buffer, right, he yeah. was in the lift. And obviously, I've got, he's a lovely guy. I've got to, um, you Did know, you know him to him a few when he was times. No, I didn't know him then, oh, coming okay. from Madison Square Garden. Mm. And obviously, I was in the back in the changing rooms, because one of the lads fought on the undercard, and it was Cotton Margarito too. Like a huge fight, the atmosphere was unbelievable. Yeah, I was in the back and um, I was watching it sort of, and you know, watching it from at the back. Mm. Uh, so I went, yeah, because I went near the changing rooms and it was like near the end, and I don't really stop around ten or eleven, I think. And I thought, right, I'm just gonna dash because otherwise I'm gonna get caught. So we were stopping Times Square way. Right. So I'm not gonna try and get stuff. I'm just gonna sort of run, run, yeah, type thing and. I'd like, I'd then run a dash track, got back to the hotel. Yeah. Avoided all like the madness. And um, I got in, pressed the lift button and it just there was one shutting open. And I got in and then just me and Michael Buffer in there. And I'm like, I was like, hi, you okay? And you know when you, I didn't even say I'm a boxer or whatever, because it was a bit like, oh, is you okay? And we're in there in a bottle four. And I wanted to ask him for a picture. But it was like, do you know what? And I think I just thought, shit, what if he says no? It's going to be so awkward, <laughs> this, because he was in the penthouse and right. I was a few floors below. Right, okay. It's going to be an awkward lift ride, this, isn't it? If he yeah. says no. And uh, and I thought, he might think I'm a bit of a crazy stalker fan because, of, yeah. you know, because I was running and I was out of breath and all that. Yeah, yeah. And I was straight, so I was like, oh, and they go, <laughs> says like, hey, have a great holiday. Is that, you know, Christmas or something like that? Right. 
Yeah, yeah, you too, mate. <laughs> you know, you get out. But I remember thinking after that, as all gutted thinking, shit, never, never got a picture with him. And he's another one, you know, he would have liked. He would have liked yeah. to. Yeah, of course. Well, obviously, I've, I've met him since plenty of times. Yeah, of course. He's, he's a great guy. Him. He's Did really you tell him guy. you'd met him before? In a lift. No, no, because I thought it might be a bit creeper. Pick want... three of your fights that before your world title fight, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Dallas Perez one and two. Any three before that that might have shaped who you are? Who do you the think, John Murray one, obviously the big yeah. Manchester derby, and obviously the new John Well. Yeah. The yeah. Kieran yeah. Farrell fight, isn't it? Farrell's yeah, that. I mean, that's a film in itself, isn't it? Really. Yeah. Oh, hello. Say hello. Nice to meet you, mate. You good? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Where have you been? Uh, You've been nursery? Yeah. Any good? Yeah. Was, this was the another question I was going to ask. Did he come and see you when you was in hospital? No, no, but... Um, Did you go and see him? No, no, but... Well, listen, we're, we're mates but and you, that now. Mates, was, yeah, you I, said, I, said, I said a bit, but I knew at that time, I didn't know they dipped me with... But mm. I, I knew it weren't a punch or anything no, like that. No. I said, they put a brick or something over my head or a slab over I don't know, I actually said to him, I said, mm. put a slab or something over my head. And for the head, and then he was taking us in, as he took us in for a scan, he says, oh, he says, um, you had a big fight, didn't you, in the next, um, in the uh, next month, didn't you? And I says, yeah, yeah, I said, I'm fine. He said, he said didn't him. you? Yeah, he said, didn't and, and I, but I didn't, I just went, I says, um, yeah, yeah, so I'm fighting for a world title next month. I said, bloody hell, worst timing, but I'll be all right. You know, I'm, I'm still telling them, I'm going, you know, I'll be all right. He goes, listen, that, that ain't going to be happening. And I'm going, no, no, I'll be all right. He goes, who said that? The, the, Was it a dog guy? Yeah, yeah, he says, it won't be happening. I said, what do you mean? Why? Why, Jenny? He goes, you've, um, you've got a fact to see your score. I've been going through some shit that's getting real now. Yeah, people dying all around.